Yo, happy Air Max Day. Or yeah, not. happy Air Max Day. <laughs> or not. Why do you mean not? What is up, guys? Episode 60 of the Tudor Podcast. We're back. We're, ha- we're in for another episode. We're going in deep again. This week is going to be, I think, controversial. We're quite good. But what do you mean by no Air Max Day, bro? You say or not. Or not. To be or not to be, that is the question. But why not to be? I'm not happy with Air Max Day. Did they have a special event on Air Max Day at all today? <laughs> if they are, it's it's a secret because I ain't seen nothing. <laughs> I thought I thought Air Max Day every year they had a little event where they drop sneakers every hour or every couple of hours and give you special stuff. I thought the Air Max Pulse will be was going to be special. I saw that in London, Nighttown London this week, yesterday, um, on the time of recording, which is uh, which is Sunday. So um, that that looks quite impressive. I liked. It. I thought it was great. Um, but yeah, why do you feel it's not special? Why does it not feel special? The, the big bubble released today, bro. So I'm logging into the sneakers app as we speak. Yep, yep. The big bubble just dropped six minutes yep. ago for us in the US. Is it sticking around? Is it Let's sold out? See what's going on right now. Live, we, we're having a live sneakers app update from Q. What's, what's uh, going over there in the sneakers app world, bro? <laughs> I mean, it's it's available right now, but um, it's sold we'll out, out here, bro. We'll find out how it does. In I'll check back in maybe 10, 15 minutes. Um, yeah, it's up, if I remember. sold out here. Yeah, it's. It, I mean, it's available right now, so. Of course, uh, six minutes and it's not a draw, which means it's not super high demand, like it's not a high heat release. Yep, yep. So, um, yeah, the big bubble is the only thing that's dropping that's for Air Max Day, and I'm weird. disappointed in that. Weird. We had a lot of sneakers drop from the Air Max Day last year, bro, right? And the year before, <laughs> but before we get into this, like, follow on Instagram, share. Subscribe to both our YouTube channels, 808 Kicks underscore ATL, Love Kicks Custom, all the same on TikTok. On um, we don't have a ready yet, but no, uh, Instagram no Shoot Dog Podcast on Instagram. Just check us out. Holler at us in the comments on the videos. Go listen to the podcast on all the audio channels. We appreciate everybody on the audio channels. We're doing pretty good over there. On uh, all the platforms, Apple, Spotify, um, what's the other one? I always forget. iHeart. Yeah, yeah, Google. All of them. Google, all of them. All, all of them. All of them. Every but, single one of them we're on there. Yeah. This this Air Max Day, bro, is it's not good. I'm not it's, it's not a happy Air Max Day for me. Speaking of Air Max Day, I decided to go low key. So I'm gonna just throw on my um my habanero 95s. For the show. It's storming uh over here right now in, in Georgia. So is it is it storming? Yeah, I I won't be going outside today. I got stuff to do in the house too. So we'll just throw my <laughs> habaneros on right quick for the show. House household heat, household heat today. It's yeah, household man. Heat. Light, light, light. Instead of pulling out the you know the should, should, should I wear the, should I wear the SKs? Hey, you can <laughs> that's a low top and, and, a, and an air max, which is rare for you. Yeah, no, I, 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 I like the SKs. I, I do like the SKs. This is the, this is the I can't remember the not the disrupt S, SK. Um, yeah, def, definitely a dopes deluxe. That's the one. That's deluxe. The Air Max deluxe. deluxe. Yeah, I've got the disrupt as well. I think um, deluxe deluxe is great. I like I like the original Air Max ninety seven um that he did. The skep the SKs that that skept of that's the whole skept of thing is dro- dro- dope. I actually liked it because um I bought, bought the tailwind SKs as well. Yeah, that not, that was my favorite um Skepta Air Max was that tailwind, the one with the chrome on it, right? 
Yeah, yeah, you that got was the dope. blue or the red? The blue. The, that, you don't need the red when you got the blue, bro. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even think we got the. Yeah, we, we didn't get that. them at the same time on the same on the same release, but we get we did get both colorways. We we had we had them like uh, two two three weeks apart. But yeah, happy Air Max Day, guys. Because obviously, too, man, I tried what, the red it. versions. Yeah, I took the L on that one, bro. They sat over here. If you told me, I would have sh- shipped them to you. I don't know if we even knew each other then. Oh, that yeah, that was quite a long time ago, bro. That, it's crazy, it's crazy. But happy Air Max Day, guys! Hopefully, you're wearing your favorite Air Max today. Uh, the 26th of March is always a great day for Air Max, and the time of recording it is Air Max Day. So happy Air Max Day! Anybody that got the big bubble, congratulations because they sold out in the UK quite heavily, quite quickly, and quite rapidly. I do you know what happened this week, bro? What this weekend? Actually, yesterday, hat trick. I was Recall. Patrick with a hat trick. Well, you got it. You hit. You hit for a three way, a three piece. Oh, uh, yo, boy, I hit a three piece. But uh, first of all, I picked up. Um, I picked up the SPs, uh, SP fours. Unfortunately, I I can't send that one to you, obviously, because it's soft springs. I have to keep it because I have to keep it as a personal pair. Um, but that that SP fours were really hard to get. Really, really hard to get. We knew that was going to happen anyway. Yeah, in the shame on offspring for gatekeeping. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I, I basically copped the cop the force from Offspring. Um, what was the other ones? Um, yeah, I got the Greater Outdoors. We talk a bit more about that later. But I got the Greater Outdoors AMX ones for Dell. I was able to cop that. Well, we I'm gonna talk do about it now. Why are we talking about Airmax Day? Okay. Um, the Greater What's Outdoors. The, the third piece. We we come back piece. to that. What's the third piece? We, the third piece was another assist for the bro who was out there. This was for um the Cortez ninety was it ninety five? Yeah, the Cortez ninety five. Yeah. We're gonna talk and about was, those later too. We're gonna talk about those later, but that that was a, also a um would you call it a strat stash point where you, I was in I was in um Oxford Circus. I was wa- wandering around with with Scott and with Ash and um. Basically, the stash came, and I was like, "Okay, cool, that's fine." And Scott, so Scott, and Ash were like, "Let's go, let's go and see what's happening." And then um, somebody, somebody messaged me saying, "Oh yeah, um, I need assist." I was like, "All right, cool, let's just go, go down there, go to the thing." And I managed to cut the uh, Cortez take rules the world. That's the one, the pink, the, the one with the pink um, uh, air air unit. Bro. Green with the pink air bubble. Yeah, yeah air bubble. Yes, yeah, that's, that's that's dope. So that that happened. So three piece, uh, two assists and one cop for myself, which is great. But the one, the most important one was the Jordan Four SB, which I couldn't get for years. So I'm a bit disappointed in that. But if it does come up, fingers crossed. You never know. Exclusive access might happen later down later down the years. Uh, you later down the year, and all of a sudden, I've got a few, bro. I can't remember. I can't remember which one of the bros. Okay, the big bubble sold out. And yeah. I'm guessing around 10 minutes is is out of there. The men's sizes yeah, are gone. Women's are still sitting and the kids are sold out. So there you go. Happy Air Max oh, Day. Happy Whatever. Air Max Day. Um, bro, but but one, of the, one of the bros um, <laughs> responded to the, the, SB, um, the SBL video. He was <laughs> like, I'm drenched in it. <laughs> it's like took, your L video. I took uh like you say he took over 20 L's. <laughs> man, drenched in give, give, sauce, that, man. give that guy 20 L perfume cases. <laughs> no, nah, we're just gonna give him the big half gallon bottle. <laughs> but That's yeah, the, the uh the great the greater outdoors or great outdoors uh Air Max one, I think should have also been released on Air Max Day. Today, yeah. I think yeah. the Cortez should have been released today as well. Also, the Cortez should have been released today. And I think... Max should, Post. The Post should have been released today as well. Exactly. We should have got the Post today. Yeah. But um, you had a different gripe with the that great outdoor Air Max 1. I wasn't a gripe. It, it was a... It was a um, I love that sneaker. The Greater Outdoors Air Max One is beautiful in hand. It's so good. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the review after the podcast, but it's so good. I'm talking about from the material blocking to the cow patch to the tiger stripes to the back pale, almost almost paisley red back at the bottom, but at the back of the hat peel with the Air Max. The 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 toe looks like Nike neck curtaining. You know what neck curtain is? 
That looks like Nick Courtney. It's like got flowers in it. It's got some swooshes in it, bro. It's beautiful. I even put it on my stories on Instagram. So please, Nike, give me a, like a, a Nick Courtney. Like a doily. Yeah, yeah, like a doily. And I was like, I, I, I tagged uh, on Nike. I was like, like whatever material this is, please let me know because I'm really seriously contemplating purchasing, purchasing this and can producing a neck curtain or a curtain for it because it looks gorgeous. I'm talking, it looks absolutely gorgeous. It's probably custom. You could probably get custom uh, curtains made. I never thought yeah. about that, but that would yeah. probably be really expensive. Some one-off curtains. Nike That's custom dope. curtains That'd coming dope, your way. <laughs> that would be so dope. I'm a. Mm, I'm gonna have to yeah. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> let's keep it. Let's keep. Let's keep a secret, bro. Don't worry. Don't worry. Let's keep a secret. You know. You know. I, I already read your mind, bro. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. But um, what, what what was it about the uh about the Greater Outdoor Air Max? So the Greater Outdoors is a, a phenomenal sneaker, and it looks like concept. Like when you have it in your hand, it looks like the con one of the concepts. It could be, it could easily go into the concept sneaker range, and it could have been a fourth concept at least. But like, like I said, like I was talking to one of the one of the SB bros this weekend, Ben Benjamin or Benjamin. Um, shout to you, bro. But because basically, um, we I was talking to him, and he was like. You know what? Nike have just done what they always do, which is copy a collaboration and move it onto like a general release sneaker. And they've done that a lot of times. So they've done they've taken vibes off that concept and put it onto the Air Max One, knowing that it's gonna sell. And that that was coming through for a lot of the Air Max releases, because when you saw the tree uh, tree lines, the matter roots, all the color, all the crazy color blockings were like, yo, this is dope, this is dope, this is dope, this is dope. They keep producing it. The casinas, and then they got the um, all the other variations of the Amax ones, and then all of a sudden they thought, you know what? Let's dip into that concept by bang. Let's 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 take some of that concept by bang, and all yeah, of a bro. Uh, wait, my bad. But 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 then it's it's magnificent because it gives you, I love it because it gives you another concept vibe sneaker, but not concept vibe sneaker, but it's so good. It's like an independent sneaker on its own. And it sold out, bro. It was gone out of here. Get out of here. You're not coming home. You're 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 going and educating the world with your greatness. And that's what happened. Because they graduated. <laughs> they literally okay. graduated, bro. So that's I agree with you. Uh it's sometimes it's more obvious than not, but like we've been seeing it for a while now. So we can we can only expect to see this from Nike and, and from other brands. Uh, New Balance just dropped a multicolor 9060. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah. Um, no. Not... no. Okay, let me see if I can pull it up <laughs> I real quick. see that. I saw, I saw um, some 96s over the weekend. There was a white variation that were just released. But um, on, on just on yeah. the Air Max alone, just just on the Air Max alone, I was looking at it and, um, it, 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 and I, it's beautiful because basically – what I worked out was something similar to what um, happened to the biohacks. So you see the Jordan 1 biohacks. That's, that was a sneaker. I gave sneaker of the year when that came out. The reason why I gave sneaker of the year when it came out is because it took a lot of vibes from a lot of other um, collaborators and put it onto one sneaker. It had some brown, brown offsets and we re associated brown with Travis Scott. Had some off, but it had some off white vibes on it. It had some exposed sponge tongue. Um, like bro, it had so much good things on that sneaker. And um, Sweet, I was like, right. yo, yo, that's dope. That you dope. can't tell me this don't look like a collab, bro. It looks like, like yo, bro. It looks you like think the about, you think about the, the bodega, you think about yeah. the Soleil and the fresh goods 9060 all in one shoe, bro. <laughs> yeah, but they, they did. But this is New Balance equivalent to the biohack. This is what I said about the biohack because the biohack had all the infusions of a collaboration on it, and it looked absolutely magnificent. It was so unique and so dope that it was kind of a sneaker that sat sat aside in that year. Okay, so let's let's make a quick distinction, right? Because we talking about this. This this I like this topic, even though it wasn't necessarily planned. Yeah, and this is why I want to raise See, it. Bro. The exposed phone. Mm -hmm. This is a Blazer 77 mid. Yeah. The exposed foam is not a collaborator's idea. Yeah. Um extra extra paneling. This and this is for, you know, construction reasons. Like this is a basketball shoe. So this little extra panel right here is for strengthening that leather around because you know how the pinky toe 
with basketball, yeah, yeah. You're, you're making all you're, these you're moves. Literally, and, yeah, yeah. Your, swivel, your swivel is going to be, your swivel is your toe point, which is going to actually kind of literally right. go um, and, and it, damage that toe point. Exactly. Kind of like how skaters, they heavy on that corner, that outside yeah. corner, because they flip using it to hit to flip the board and whatnot. But yeah. the, the my whole point is a lot of these design cues, I think that some of the collaborators have brought to the forefront yeah. or brought yeah. uh, to, to the attention of uh, the mainstream sneaker audience. So what, what, we, what you're are, saying is are cues that have been taken from existing products already and maybe expounded upon or overdone <laughs> like what what virgil does with the, all the exposed stitching and the same union did the same thing you know what i'm saying yeah. having having the, the 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 different stitching the contrast stitching uh, is the word i was looking for also um with the biohack it was influenced by a dunk yeah, no, I know the biohack colorway is influenced by a dump, but they basically switched it up. That you couldn't, you could have bring, you could have brought the colorway back onto the biohacks and left it, but they switched it up. Like they get, got to make the extra stitch in there. Yeah, them. yeah, they brought all, all these popular things from the height into an age, age, the age yeah. look into it. So, so like the, the that's the, that's what I'm saying because the, um everything we know about collaborations is synonymous to the actual collaboration. So Virgil dish construction exposed form that was taken from obviously some other aspects, but he did deconstructed the sneaker so the deconstructive vibe and the artistic vibe of that sneaker was actually it, w known from offspring uh, not, not known from off-white so um, so basically what happened was um with that whole kind of off-white vibe that was now associated with off-white and then the brown brown color was always existed before travis scott and the reverse swoosh was dennis rodman's little thing where he did back back in the day but that's now associated with travis scott because now he's re now he does a reverse swoosh now he does brown colorways and union obviously the double stitch the, the the stitching separation with the ones um and the union fours look different with the stitch tongue all of that stitching now is artistically re renowned with union so i'm saying so all of that kind of brought together what the biohack was so we now to associate all of those little art like characteristics with the collaborations and that's why the bio yeah. just looks special to me it's just like such a great looking sneaker such a low like, this is here you go bang we give you all of this all of these characteristics that are synonymous to all the collaborations on one sneaker and the the um, the greater outdoors reminds me of that very much so because the greater outdoors is could have been a concept sneaker is such a marvelous sneaker it's so, such a beautifully executed sneaker and because of that because of that favoritism on that concept vibe one thing happened to that sneaker it sold out because everybody knows that that whole vibe concept vibe is so unique so different the sneakers so beautiful itself and it just sold out it, and what air max to this day is sold out bro except for that one uh, it depends bro like the code the, the what you see over there and what i see over here is so different based on certain things that you can't necessarily pick out you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like because because people over here love air max too but i bro i did not see for one split second that cortez air max being such a huge deal oh we, we're gonna talk about that i uh, we'll definitely talk about that in a bit but let's just finish, let's round in off this subject the um, air max the air max it's good that um there's only two Air Maxes that sold out. The one, obviously, the big bubble today, and the Greater Outdoors, which is is which is a, a kind of characteristics the concept sneaker. So from from that angle alone, every other Air Max is pretty much sat. So that tells me Nike is on the right track with using some of the IP from other collaborations because once you sign with nike once you start a sign with a brand your artistic value is their artistic value and their, uh, your, their artistic property is your artistic property because you're working it under the brand because they're giving you that freedom and like with my with where i work whatever i come with within the industry if i come up with an idea within the industry and and it's it's an amazing idea i can't patent it for myself because it's and um, it's under the influence of working under the company that's allowed me to come up with the idea yeah. so that's it's what that's contract. what nike's exactly it's in your contract so nike's whole angle is well virgil did it with us um union did it with us we'll be just going to use that 
we and um so how many how many times have we seen the sakai double double tick double swoosh double tongue come on different sneakers as well without without the sakai collaboration it's it's been and, quite quite a lot and i'm i'm cool i'm cool with that because it's never done in the exact same way yeah and most of the time when when we call it out it's it's apparent but it's the quality on it is, is it's not the same or the meaning of it is not the same. So when it, when Nike takes these high end um, release ideas and break them down to um, pretty much GR level, yep. I, I'm not mad at it. I, I don't, when people call it out, it's always seemed like it's in a negative connotation. No, no, no. It's it, fair I, I, at all. Do you think it's homage though? Do you think it's it's giving homage to the collaboration? Because you, you're 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 giving them it's your it's your it's your intellectual property. Not like, necessarily. If, what do you mean? I don't think it's homage. I think it's business. I think it's seeing up seeing that something works. Kind of like what we talked about last week. I think it's seeing that something works, or even even down to to the artistic aspect of it from designer to designer you know you watch the greats right yeah great basketball players study great basketball players yep great architects study great architects great designers study great designers and whether they're your peers contemporary or somebody from the past which we see a lot of uh, nowadays. We see a lot of people instantly copy, like this. This this like a copy paste type of error. So oh yeah, d- designers yeah. seeing that something works from a higher level designer, right? Do you, let's, do you let's, want to give you the primitive? Let's say you, let's say the, the average uh, mid level designer at Nike ain't on the level of a Virgil because he can't go run and get a Louis Vuitton collab. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you're gonna take ideas from other great designers and implement them in your own way. Do you want to give you the primitive example? Social yeah. media. Something goes, something's something's trending, everybody copies it. That's a yeah. primitive example. Um, so like everything else is kind of derivative from that. If somebody sees something, like like how many times have we seen tie-dye, like tie-dye or dyeing sneakers? That's that's that became a trend and everybody was doing it. Or dipping. drawing on sneakers, every dipping, dipping and dip dyeing and all of that stuff. And it became a trend, everybody's doing it. Cleaning sneakers as a video, everybody's doing it. Um, just basically everything, bro. Like everybody copies, and I understand that. But I do understand the business angle. I do understand nike coming back with a sneaker that's relatively similar to a collaboration that was really popular that actually sold out and it means the air max one sold out and the strategy is great i think even if it's even if it's taking homage or if from a business sense it's still part of their part of their strategy part of their um i think they would have kind of turned around to concept and said we're going to do this are you happy with that potentially just what, just to not annoy them why they don't have to and it's not they it's they didn't it's not. It's. I don't think it can be put in that. Um, in that concept pack. I don't think it belongs at all. I think. Yeah, it's yeah. a. It's a. It's a. It's a. It's a crazy shoe. The the greater I, outdoor I agree. is a is a crazy shoe, but to me that concept pack is crazy on another level. Oh yeah, because it's it's associated to Woodstock. It's associated to that festival. It's associated to everything that embodied Woodstock. It's got a great storyline to it, and I understand that. But no, the I thing ain't is, even talking about the story. I'm talking about just the design, the mater- just looking. Yeah, at yeah, it. yeah. The material blocking on that is 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 at another level. But the like from my sense and looking at that is the material blocking on on the great great outdoors is crazy as well. It's not probably to the same level. It's not got the same kind of prints. It's not got the same kind of aesthetics and denim or, or kind of faded or paisley at the back. But the, the the thing is, it's an almost maybe wannabe, but it's such a great release and it's still an awesome sneaker. That's you know what, what I'm trying to get at. I'm finna kill this conversation with one question. What's that? How long has Nike been doing what if? A long time, bro. A long, long time. <laughs> so what if, this ain't nothing new for them. 
Yeah, but it's great. It's a great strategy because it means we get more awesome sneakers, and that's what it's about, bro. It's it's, it's oh, yeah. even if it's if it's, even if it's homage, even if it's business, even if it's if it's copy and paste, even if it's taking intellectual property, even if it's doing the wrong thing at the right time. Bro, it's still it's awesome. It's still really great to see. Look, if, if can we live out? Can we live without the great outdoors? Yeah, potentially. Is it nice to see the great outdoors? Yes, amazingly. Is it go so good to see in hand? Yes, dope. Does does it bring something new to the Air Max One? Yeah, it does. It's good. It's it's an awesome sneaker. Absolutely awesome. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, all right. I cool. Next I, up is a I, I don't I don't care as much as you do because I can't wear. It. So, <laughs> a little bit too small for me. Yeah, yeah it was a women's exclusive. It was definitely a women's exclusive. But that yeah. that great outdoor sold out, bro. Sold out everywhere. I had to get Dell his a uh, display display sneaker, even though it was out for like a, a half a day. It was the last last size in his run, and I thought like, cool. The only thing wrong with it was a bit of dirt on, on the bottom of the actual sneaker, which is wipe away, and it would just be brand new. Nothing wrong with it. Yeah. So yeah, speaking of Air Max craziness, yeah, the Cortez um, rules the world. That was the whole campaign last week. They took over uh, <laughs> New York <laughs> because uh, the Cortez pop up release yeah. event. Another first go, and you know what? I heard a conversation. And it, basically, it, it got out of hand. Hold on, let me see the video play. Are Let's you talking? Are you referring to that a kid um, on video saying, "You better get out of my way because I'm going to stomp you"? Man, people, <laughs> people, it's just okay. I can't. You did you did you get the video? Yeah, I got the video. Basically, I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to show you. I'm not going to put a um, volume on because obviously the volume is copyright. So I'm going to. Sh if you guys can see this, we're going to talk through it anyway. and um, give some narrative to it. But the, the, the I want to say one thing about the Cortez release. Um, one thing about that definitely was it was it seemed like it seemed like chaos and chaos chaotic. But one would definitely say about that sneaker was uh, that in itself was released in a way to to create this hysteria and i'm going to tell you in a bit like this, if you guys can see this is the Cortez takes over in nyc this is obviously not for the audio if you guys want to log on to youtube and watch that you can actually watch that but yeah as you can see they took over a whole corner of a store and put Cortez um branding all over this and um it was like a pop-up and yeah one of the guys was like yep he's, he's our nigerian king i don't care i'm gonna push people to get out of the way for this sneaker um they did the sneaker as a pop-up everywhere like this this was a stash release in the london and the uk it was a pop-up in new york city and you had to be at that location to get the sneaker and you had to be at that location to buy the sneaker so it wasn't like a general release it didn't really come out on the sneakers app as available as that but the this Cortez rules the world the, the one with the pink air bubble was literally popped up everywhere so everybody was running for this sneaker like as you can see from the video everybody was running for this sneaker to be at that location and it caused this hysteria because you couldn't get that well, as a normal release bro at all that wasn't on the sneakers up for a raffle at all bro mm -mm. so uh, what what we see what we're seeing and what we saw in london was people thought pe people got hyped over this sneaker because it wasn't really available you had to be at a certain location at a certain time to get this sneaker this is why it was so hyped i i don't know bro i don't know what Cortez is. I know um they, I had, they, they had done something with Nike before, right? No, this is the first this is the first um first collaboration. One. Yeah, it's it Cortez is um it's Clint is the owner of this company, Cortez. Um he's an up and coming uh designer and he's got a big underground following in the UK. Uh, uh he's a U yeah, so basically it it's right all now. UK yeah, it's UK so based. It's, 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 it's legit hype. Yep. It's it's underground. It's legit underground love and support. Yep, that yep. it's always going to be dope. big. Yeah, this is this dope. Is, this this, is, this is okay. Uh, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Not the the part about the police having to be called and people threatening each other and none of the none of the negative BS is what I'm saying is dope. Let's make that clear. No, no, but no. In fact, I don't. I have no idea. 
what Cortez is. Now you know. And I saw it, bro. Bro, I saw it one time, right? I'm scrolling IG and I see it. And I'm like, okay, it's a Air Max with pink bubbles. The logos on it is cool, right? And I see that as a collab. But as soon as I saw the pink air, air unit, I'm like, nope, I'm out. (laughs) <laughs> you know there was a there was a there was a, there was a different version. It, there was a gutter green version, which is a green air bubble. Yeah, was, yeah, that that was that was good. And like then this that is the one. pink that the pink one was we rules the world. Um, so Cortez is Cortez. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you my perspective. Cortez took what Virgil said as a business plan and amped it up maximum. You remember that business plan? Get, get get a brand, make it limited, make it quite hard to get, make it exclusive. That's that's cool tease, but bro. People gotta you have like to, it though. That's, yeah, they do like it. And they, they, he, it has to be dope enough for you to be able to pull that off. Because anybody yeah, it, I mean people try it and it don't yeah. work. Yeah, but he you have to but the thing is what what happened was you start to apply it to the the artists you start to kind of get synonymous with the artists and the and the artists in the UK yeah. that's what happened and this is what Virgil did really well because when he did his off white brand he was giving it to Kanye he was giving it to the, all the big artists like even the grime artists here you go wear my merch and you, when as soon as you saw it pop up in the videos you wanted it that's what exactly the same thing as what Cortez did you want it you want it you want it you keep it limited and all of a sudden you can't get it regular you have to go and sign up to a a blog to actually try and drop the release and you have to try and copy yo it was so hard to get that was perfection whatever Virgil said in that video on his tutorial to make a brand Cortez did it and amped it and this is why that hype is now transferred to the US yeah that's kind of what Kai did too yeah and it's amazing to see and congratulations to Cortez because yo I was hyped when I saw um in Nike Town London the Cortez sign come up on the Nike Town London thing and that was dope everybody's like yo what the hell is going on here and then we realized yeah it's a collaboration official collaboration like for Nike to let him do that that's crazy bro in the, in London as well in the UK that's crazy bro that was that was awesome absolutely awesome so um uh, shout out to Cortez, man. That was that's yeah. that's dope. That's dope. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing more from Cortez with Nike. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully yeah, definitely. With, without uh pink air bubble. They need to give him I'm a looking phone. I'm I'm looking to I oh know, but if he's fa- his favorite Air Max his favorite site Air Max is Air Max okay, 97. Okay, okay. 95 is for the culture. Um, is bro, he from bro, the UK? Yeah, he's from the UK. So okay. bro. I want to. I want to see more, but I'm. I'm. I'm excited to see that. I, even though I assisted somebody, I'm excited to do, see this Cortez. Um, we rules the world '95. That that whole sneaker with the pink air bubble. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be dope. Definitely dope sneaker. Definitely. Dope. So okay. From quick dope strike time, to, bro. Number number one. Uh, <laughs> what's what's going on here, bro? All right. Uh, if guys, Jordan this, 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 MVP. Six, seven, eight. Bro, 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 bro. One question to one question, just the one question before we start this subject. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Secretly, what do you think? <coughs> I I know I know you're looking at this sneak and you're thinking, yo, this is actually quite dope. I like the I like the meaning behind this. Shit. I see Come what on they tried to do. Yeah. I see what they listen, listen. I'm gonna be one hundred percent honest. Yep. I see what they tried to do. I ain't even going to say tried to do. I see what they did there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I understand it 100%. Yep. Is it the worst? No, I've seen worse. We just saw yeah. worse with that uh the the two tray where they put yeah. the 12 and the 11 and the whatever the that this ain't the, uh, is it? You no. you want to really like it. you you want to like this, do you, don't you? This is the MVP. If you got if you guys don't know what the Jordan MVP is, it's all the it's all the classic six, colorways. Seven, and eight. Six seven eight smashed the playoffs together. six seven eights. Yes, yeah, smashed together. The infrared, the playoffs eights, and what's the other one? The sevens, the Bulldog sevens. Border. All yeah, all, cl- no, all collapsed into. Term. Raptor. Raptor. Raptor sevens. All collapsed into one sneaker. It's got the seven tongue, the six body, the six outsole, the, uh, the eight um back paneling. Bro, um, Bro this is a donor sneaker. 
This you is a donor that? sneaker. Yes. That six outsole can be used for sole swap. Um, if the person got a sewing machine or whatever, that, that panel from the eight, that can be used. Yep, yep. That tongue, that six tongue can be used. The rest of the shoe is nah. <laughs> oh. oh, bro, you don't like, like it. I, I can mixing understand. Mixing the six with the seven, bro, the, the, and the heel. What's going on with the heel? Like, that's supposed to be from the eight. Like, no, bro. Yeah. No. Okay, cool. Oh, man. Hold on, man. <laughs> I mean, I get what I get it, bro. And they put the Nike Air on the back to try to trick us. You yeah. can't trick me with Nike Air on the back of a Team Jordan, bro. It's a Team Jordan. Okay, I've got, vital, I've got a vital question for you then. Lose, choose, or dump. Uh, instant lose, choose, or dump today. Okay, are you choosing the Jordan MVP? Are you choosing the free one too? Or are you choosing the Spizikes? What are you losing? What are you choosing? What are you dumping, bro? Because it's the question today. Because all of the three are hybrid sneakers. All three bring some meaning to it. But what are you choosing, bro? That's the question. I'm dumping the six uh, MVP <laughs> six seven eight. Dumping. Raw reactions with Q. <laughs> Cause it's it's a donor sneaker for for customizers <laughs> and people that do restorations. That's what this is. <laughs> that that is the end of the topic. While I while I uh, okay, but you I, uh, both. No, no. While I while I finish answering this lose, choose a dump. I don't want to talk about yeah. this sneaker ever again, bro. And I Can know he will because they're I gonna want, drop more I colorways, wanna... and we go. Nah, we... If they don't, they do don't, don't, don't drop more colorways on this, bro. They're gonna like, do it. Is, it's a it's a Jordan MVP, and MVP is obviously defined. This is like a defining pack, Jordan. Like, come on, don't do it, don't do it. It, it make this makes sense. This, uh, like, I'm gonna be honest. The, I want to like it, but I can't. That's 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 for how I feel about it. I want to like it, but I can't. That's how much I feel about it. I understand the, um, I'm, I understand the history. I understand what it was trying to bring. I understand mm-hmm. everything, but I can't like it. I I want to like it because of the history behind it, but I can't. And this is why I'm like, bro. They made four. the back of it like the six, the seven, and the eight. You can see you can see the triangle from the seven. Obviously, yeah. the Nike Air from the six and the, the back of the eight. You know how the back of the eight got that? Yep, yep, yep. That ripple, ripple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah. it don't work. It All right, cool. But yeah, let's the, finish this <laughs> loose shoes or dump. Let's finish this loose shoes or dump. You got the I'm, Spizite so, and the free one, too. I'm dumping, I'm dumping that and I'm losing the Spizite, bro. Oh, you like the free one, too. Okay, I do okay. not like the Spizite, bro. Don't play with my fives like that. <laughs> I ain't never liked this kid like Don't play with shoes <laughs> five like that. That's that that's the quote of the day. Don't play with my sneakers like that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't play with my fives, bro. Don't play with me. <laughs> you know what? Right, cool. <laughs> Speaking of playing with Yo! <laughs> right, if you guys want Mischief to- <laughs> well, just has done it. WD. Again, Mr. Another one. Another Mr. one. BWD from the front or back. Um, what what could give me your raw opinions on this? I'm, bro. I'm, <laughs> I'm wearing it from the back, meaning I'm I'm wearing the I'm wearing the red side to the heel, because that's the way it, you know, that's the natural shoe look of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the soul, like the, the soul makes sense going that way to me. But it's it's like it's a it's like a, a canvas shoe, like it's like a skate shoe inside of a hiking shoe or something. Um, yeah. Or a basketball yeah. shoe. It's it's a skate shoe inside of a basketball shoe. Eat they they eating each other. <laughs> it's like <laughs> this is bruh. Bruh. What and they coming quick, dog. We were just talking about they won. They won with the big red boot. Yep. And that's what that was what a month and a half ago. 
Yep. Bro, they are quick fire around with gobs. <sighs> when, when, what was the difference between the wavy baby, the hospital sneaker, and the gobstomper? That wasn't much difference between that. Bro, this is genius. Like, I, I mentioned it with my sneaker news. This is slipping. This is sli you're slipping in both ways in this sneaker, bro. Like, that's all I'm saying is uh, you're slip, slip, slipping all the way through the bank for this. Yo, this is just genius. How? Who would have thought? You know what? My my missus said to me the other day. This sneaker reminds her of the of the car. There, there's a story behind this, right? All right, story time. A little, little, little bit a, of a story it's a time. Sculpture, right? Yeah, man. A little the bit of a story cars, time. Uh, merged into each other or something like that. Yeah, yeah. The, the, that's the story. There was a there was a there was a traffic warden walking down the street, um, and he said, "You can't park your car." facing that direction if you face if you if your car's facing that direction i'm gonna give you a ticket right so the next day he this guy goes away goes to the mechanic and he gets two front ends bolted onto each other so he's got front end on one side front end on the other side and he drove it down parked it in the same spot and the traffic warden says i can't give you a ticket because i don't know what what way you're facing this is the sneaker bro you don't know what way you're facing in this one <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, bro. I seen I I seen a sculpture of, of two cars like smashed into yeah. each other. This is it. It was a this sculpture it, or, or illustration of something. This is that. Like, and this is and, it. It's not practical at all. It's genius, I think bro. The only way you can make it practical is if you wear it, you know, the red side to the heel because it looked like it's less weight on 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 that white side. But yeah. I can't. I ain't even. I can't even give no opinion on it, bro. Like, oh, right, cool. I, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say one <laughs> thing. Let Let me just say one thing. Right. Like, what first, do you say? First, 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 you first you got the Jesus shoe, then you got the devil shoe, then you've got the wavy baby, which you can't walk in. Then you've got the gob stompers. Then you got the hospital sneakers. Then you got the big red boot. And you're sitting there as a company and thinking, all right, cool. We've done such amazing stuff. This is absolutely phenomenal. What do we do next? What can we do that's going to be like absolutely crazy and everybody's going to be talking about us? Well, why don't we put two sneakers together and open ended that you can put both your feet, you can put Yo, one feet one way, one feet the other way? I just I don't understand why they're doing it so fast. Because they got, it can. I feel like they can, they can give a little bit of time in between. But this, I can see this for summer. Like people are going to be rocking this for this, spring and summer. People go, bro, I ain't people seen them yet. This. Yeah. I ain't People seen it yet. This. this this is this is and this is internet food right here. Yeah. This can just keep Wait. feeding us internet yeah, food. Yeah, but they keep they, they keep no feeding feeling. us. It tastes good. It ain't got <laughs> it ain't got no no nutrients in it. No nutrients <laughs> at all. But it tastes so good. <laughs> Everybody, you know what the worst thing is? Everybody's gonna call this crazy, everybody's gonna call this absolutely ridiculous. But but big question is. They can do it, and we're still talking about it, and that's what that's the what I mean. So this thing, that, that exactly, it we're so still, good, bro. But it, 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 so it don't mean nothing. Is, <laughs> is it practical? Is it practical? No. Is it more like a slipper? Yes, maybe potentially it's open ended toe. It, it, like, bro, this is for the internet, bro. Yeah, this, this, this not for life. This right is here. very artist. This is art. This is art encompassed into a sneaker mm -hmm. because you ain't wearing this. You're going yeah. to say you're going to bring this out in ten years and say, "I bet you didn't know what this is." <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. This. Yeah. They got. They got. It do have a collection appeal. Yeah. Super big collection appeal with mischief. That's what they got yeah. going on. Imagine if That's you got every got single mischief. On. Yeah, exactly. Imagine if you got every single minute. You're you're now as a collector, you're now invested in mischief. If you've got the first sneaker, if you've got the Jesus and the devil and, and all of that stuff and the hospitals and the gobstompers, and you just got a big red boot, then they released the BWD, right? You, we know what you, you, you guys, you know what BBW means. This is literally it. This is literally it, bro. It looks good though. It, bro, if it if, you, if if it didn't have a double open ended feet position and you kind of covered the white and to me it made it into yeah. a regular toe, it is yeah. a dope sneaker. It is dope. Right. Exactly. Thanks. That's why. That's why I said that that's the way it's supposed to be worn. Obviously, some but. customizers need to kind of unstitch the <laughs> unstitch the um the front you think end. Somebody gonna finish it. Yeah, finish it. It will look dope, bro. Still, it will still look dope. 
They need to drop a finished version. <laughs> this is the finished version, bro. What are you talking about? <laughs> you know what I mean. Fully finished version. Yeah, yeah, yeah shout out to Michigan, Michigan, Michigan. Man. Okay, they cool. Kill. <laughs> They're killing it. One, question, one question. <laughs> one question to you then is, what's their next move? Because now, now you can throw, look, look, that's the Bugs Bunny. That's the Tom and Jerry sneaker, right? That's the cartoon sneaker. That's the ridiculous sneaker that you never thought would come into an idea spectrum. It, it's, like, it's literally like the employees have got a bowl and they said, put your craziest ideas in here and we'll pick them up one by one and we'll say to them, so throw your crazy right. idea in there, bro. Throw it in. I'll, I'm, look, I'm waiting for it. They they probably got a whole factory full of crazy ideas already going. That's the do thing. You, do, you, do you want to know one? No. I've got one for you. No, <laughs> oh, I've got one for you. <laughs> no. Do you want to know it? <laughs> no. Flintstone sneaker. <laughs> Flintstone sneaker, bro. Soulless sneaker. Flintstone. Yabba dabba do. Yo, bro, I want some wrong. Yo, I'll tell you what happens when reselling goes wrong. What's that? <laughs> you buy 62 sneakers from StockX just to find out 38 of them are fake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, bro. That's over 50%. That's over 50%, bro. <laughs> Yo, so I don't even want to, I don't want to stretch this out. Because we done talked about Nike and StockX so many times. And these small details that's coming out in the case, we knew it was going to happen. That's why we had the long conversations initially. Because we knew it was going to get new stuff periodically. So this I'm this gonna... one reseller, and it was it okay, so let's I just I wanna I wanna bring up the strategy of it. That's the only thing I really want to talk about. The strategy yeah. of this reseller. Do, do, you know, do, you, do you want me to let you, do people know the background to this? Just a little bit of a background. <clears throat> well, in in the Nike case, the Nike StockX case, somehow this reseller um, was brought up because he bought 62 <coughs> Jordan 1 uh, UNC. It was... Um, Hyper Royals and Mochas, yep. right? Yep, yep, that's the ones. He bought 62 pairs of these three particular Jordan 1s, which if y'all follow, been following the sneaker game, <clears throat> excuse me, for the past couple of years, we know those are three of the hypest, most expensive Jordan 1s that came out during the pandemic, right? Yep. So this was a... This was a, predict, a predictive investment by this reseller to buy 62 pairs from a resale platform at a premium price already. Yep. Yep. They, by the way, Nike, Nike like reached out, Nike reached out, Nike right. reached out to the reseller. So look, the, the whole, the whole premise premises is Nike reached out to the reseller, unnamed name reseller. Um, so I Nike, I think the reseller's name will come out eventually into as part of the court case because obviously if he's part of the court case, they're gonna invite him to come over, come and give his testament. Um, so that that could potentially happen. But Nike reached out and they they realized and they then verified that the thirty eight pairs that he thought were fake were actually fake. So they verified the pairs that he he thought were fake, and they said, yeah, we conclude those pairs are fake. So the this is pretty much details from what we heard earlier about Nike buying fakes from StockX. It wasn't actually yep. Nike buying fakes. It was they the reseller that bought the fakes. And yeah, they, they, they reached out to people, they're reaching out to people that have actually bought fakes and claimed they bought paid from StockX. And then they're verifying that they are fake. So the, we've seen, remember we talked about this YouTuber that got some top Mars, Tom, um, Tom Sachs Mars and basically realized they were fakes. They probably potentially could reach out to the same um, YouTuber and say, give us your Mars. Let me see. Let me yeah. verify them because that came from... There's a so lot of that going on. Yeah, because they've got they've investigated it further. So this has been in their um, strategy for the last year or two now because I think they've been building this case up against StockX. But again, <laughs> what I'm focusing on is this, this reseller being so bold as to buy 
60 pair of Jordans, Jordan ones, height Jordan ones mm-hmm. at the height of the pandemic from StockX. Yeah, but yeah, that was that was a bad move, bro. Because uh, post StockX prices have gone down. Not post StockX, post um, COVID prices pandemic. have gone down. Yeah, yeah pandemic. Yeah, exactly. prices have gone down. Um, that was a bad move. Um, realistically, that was a bad move. If you were, if you're into stocks and shares, and if you and you, he's treating sneakers like stocks and shares, like a lot of people do in the in, in the non sneaker community, because the these are the these guys, yeah, they, these are guys that are investors. So eventually, um, I think he got those pairs thinking that they will hit like Chicago, they'll hit like what the off whites yeah. are doing. Um, so basically, I, I can understand why he would have invested, but that the time to invest was never the COVID time because obviously the the ability to cop sneakers was quite limited the the fact that we couldn't get out there to go to the streets to cop the sneakers was quite limited so post covid you know that's not going to be the case there's going to be a price dip dip when everybody can go out cost of living has kind of had a major impact on that so realistically it was a bad move from the reseller but you can understand the strategy and you got to respect the fact that some people do this as a strategy so if it's yeah. in the res- it, whatever happens in the resale world happens in the resale world um and that's some of the tactics in the resale world so we leave it there but yeah it was a bad move but the question now I got for one important question i got for you bro is it cap? Who was cap? Is it cap though? The, Can, the thirty-eight fakes. Yeah, the, the, I just want to. I just want to give the other angle. So uh, uh, my other angle is re- all respect. I, can't, I know Nike can verify the sneakers if they can verify the sneakers because we know how hard the the actual. UAs are I mean, in terms of how hard did it detect to, from real to fake? Now can Nike Nike, Nike is the only <laughs> Nike is the only thing that can actually legit check Nike shoes. Now like, only only somebody advocate. only somebody that's making real Nike shoes can verify real. Nike yeah, yeah, shoes. I I understand that. Like one hundred percent. Like I mean, we know, right? Like we know certain the things to look for and this and that. But yep, yep, yep. You know, we we. But they, I'm gonna. Them. They making them. They know. They know what's going on. <laughs> you know what okay, saying? cool, cool. Now the question is, I'm playing devil's advocate here. Not and this is this is not me saying this is actually what happened or what could be happening. I'm playing devil's advocate here because basically on the podcast say we uh, we investigate every angle. One of the other angles is. Can Nike take away the official stamp and cl- and basically stay these are no longer verified? Yeah. It, like 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 what I'm what I'm saying is like imagine you've got a verified sneaker. Imagine you get a a a Jordan sneaker and all of a sudden there's an issue with it, there's a quality issue with it. And they look at that. And what we don't know these 38 pairs, what they look like, how they look like, but they could be one thing, just the slightest thing off. And but it's a legit pair. And we know the quality QC of sneakers. Just the slightest bit off, bro. And Nike turn around and say, Well, that's not part of our production range. It's, the QC is off on this, and this is a fake. I'm just saying I'm just saying plain devil advocate. Obviously, we know some of these sneakers come out with bad QC. We know what happened with the Travis Scott in terms of the the, the fake pairs were even better than the real pairs. The quality there was quality issues with the Travis Scott ones, there's quality issues with Travis Scott fours, there's probably quality issues with the UNCs and all of that stuff. Just like I'm saying, not saying this has happened, but it's plain devil's advocate. Can Nike turn around and look at a sneaker and say that's not legit, even though it's legit because of the quality control on it? Yeah, or even turn around and say that sneaker's not ours because it doesn't look right. Because, but it could be a legit sneaker. You just came out exactly they, that way. Even if they lie, they could. Hands up, bro! I'm just saying. I'm playing devil's advocate. They could. I'm just saying it's lie. a game, bro. Uh, it's it's a game, bro. It's definitely Listen, a game. I I ain't saying. I'm not saying they are. This is what I'm saying. Well, I'm not we, saying we don't know. Are, we don't. We don't know exactly what's going on internally. You know what I'm saying? But I, I get where you're coming from, 100. They, 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 they I waging war between us. <laughs> if, I, if that's the angle they're gonna go with, it's plausible to me because who would know better? Because yeah, because I could make a product. I'm just saying I could make a product. Somebody could copy it, but the copies are so good 
there's only a little bit off, and if my my quality is a little bit off, I'm just gonna say that's that's. I'm just gonna say under underline it. Say no, that's not real because I my quality is not that. Or my quality doesn't come out like that. It, we we haven't seen these 38 pairs. Let's be honest. We haven't seen these 38 pairs. We haven't seen what they look like. We haven't seen what the quality looks like. We don't want to see what the defects look like. We don't understand. We don't understand why they're not classified. Well, no, as, no, none of that matter. No, yeah, none of that exactly. matter. Whatever, whatever reasons that 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 person that made them purchases from StockX said, that's what they rolling with, <laughs> and they yep. can they can do that. Yep. Yep. Um. So. Just play, I, that was me just playing devil's advocate because basically I like I would like to discuss every angle because obviously we know <coughs> Nike is I get Nike has been cancelling orders from resellers. We know Nike has been cancelling um, multiple purchases. We they've been checking up different people's accounts. They've been checking up different people's addresses, making sure they don't get multiple pairs. Make sure they cancel multiple pairs. And they've been going after StockX. We are bro. I know you called this cap the other day in, on Instagram when I sent this to you. Even Goat have been throwing some shade on selling fakes recently so it, I, i'm i'm just saying i'm, I'm me that me i'm new. just saying i know i know but me the stock x is i amped up to a level and every single resale company is being dragged into that it's only a matter of time until nike move on to other resale companies this stock x is like let's be honest stock x is the leader in telling what the resale price is, the market market share indicator of what the value of that sneaker is, we everybody goes to it. So what what Nike do if they want to tackle resale, go for the number one competitor. And even though some people don't think StockX is the number one competitor, when it comes to resale price, when it comes to the resale index, when it comes to the resale market, that's where everybody goes to. So how do you take resale down? You go after the number one contender. And at the moment, even if even if Goat are doing out, outnumbering uh, StockX, everybody wants to go to StockX to check the price. What do you do? Take that down. And then you get the other markets. Yeah, Strategy, bro. That. Strategy, bro. <laughs> that's, the point, that's the whole <laughs> point of the lawsuit in the first place. So, so the, 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 you, haven't, you haven't addressed the question I said to you. Is it cap? It don't matter. That's a good answer. <laughs> it don't matter because we believe what we believe. And no, we believe no, no, not even, not even to, it's to the question, the, 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 it's because of the pushback you provided on the yep. devil advocate point. Yep. It doesn't matter if it's cap or not. They, yep. they can do that because they're the only people that can. Yeah. <laughs> you know they're the only, the only, they're the only people they, that can. And that's what, the we yep. it's us you know what i'm saying i made this so can who who else can can really say for sure and, the, and the thing is and the thing is if you're if you're the owner of the company and you say so the, the reputation in the public eye for the other opponent is yeah you're 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 doing fakes here because right. we 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 as a consumer are going to rely on the on the provider who is nike because we buy their stuff we want to buy their stuff from nike all the time so yeah, if nike biased. says i'm biased yeah 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 if nike says then they must be true and that's that's the automatic thought process because if nike said it's fake then it must be fake that's exactly. that's is why i wanted to raise the other opponent value because that's how StockX will be attacking nike that's how yeah. that's what they'll be saying to them like like we can prove they're legit but you're saying they're fake but what if they, what if it's a QZ? they it could bro it is it's a whole matter of things let's just see what comes out from this because i'm interested this is getting interesting it's very it's getting quite interesting yeah. so i want to wait until everything's out in the open but yes what's the next quick strike quickly bro revenge storm <clears throat> yep ian connor break it down for us bro vans and that's and why has it always got to do with a lightning bolt bro uh something about lightning bolt and sneakers is just stay away <laughs> from it uh, <laughs> 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 just stay away from the lightning bolt bro yeah and connor um how the lightning storm, <laughs> i don't appreciate how people for one thing uh people always call these vans ripoffs I don't yep. think they're Vans ripoffs. I think this is 
a booty in, independent boutique brand that got popular and they got two hundred twenty dollar shoes that look similar to vans okay i thought they did a vans collaboration didn't they do a vans collaboration or is this just like a homage to vans i don't know what it is bro this ain't my this is a like skate culture type of for people that like yeah. vans you know what I'm saying? it's like super vans in a yeah, way yeah. you know what i'm saying like they they popular they niche you know what I'm saying? It's, it's definitely a subculture to the sneaker culture. But people that know about these love these and they buy them at that 220, even though they just some little canvas sneakers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, almost yeah, yeah. it's almost like people that are in the high fashion. You know what I'm saying? They'll buy stuff that the quality ain't as good or the comfortability ain't as good as you know sportswear, but yep. it's high fashion and it costs a lot of money, so it comes with clout. I don't think this is a as much of a clout situation, so to speak. But I know Revenge Storm is pretty popular subculture. Um, yeah, yeah. But Van said, you know what? <laughs> we're taking it back. We, we're taking we're, the idea. We're going to put a lightning bolt on the side of our shoes. And but, but we're going to start $75. Bro. But it's different, bro, because um, they've taken the lightning bolt from the midsole to the to the to out, out, out. So it's a bit different. I, I can understand. I think it's a diss, bro. It is a diss. You know, you know what? One thing um, I was reading the other day, the the Vans owner was saying that not, uh, Vans are not kind of diverse or creative or edgy anymore, and he wanted to bring the edge back, and he thought it would be a good idea just to copy an idea if that's quite popular in the subculture. And put it on a Vans, and then he and he's done that, and he's brought the edge back because he's got everybody talking about how similar it is to somebody that's actually done it, like 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 yeah. Cool Kai, and like it's the same such a similar scenario with Cool Kai and and Nike, with a lightning bolt and a swoosh. Yo, I don't I don't know how to feel about this. It's dope though. I, I, I don't, know I'm not dope. a Vans guy. It's only one pair of Vans I ever really wanted. In my life, that's the uh, the Freddie Vans, and I still want Freddie Vans too. I need to look into that. I, I like I like on. the I like the Marvel Vans. All the Marvel Vans are dope. I've got I actually got the Deadpool Vans. They they're dope. Okay. The box on that is dope. It's absolutely dope. I love it. But these these dope. I, I mean, I ain't mad at it. it. It is a little it is a little bitey. You know, the lightning bolt is the other way around. It's on hold on the midsole, Ho- like hold, you're saying. hold on hold on hold on. This is not a bite. This is this is a, when a dog takes a chunk out of a cake, bro. This is not just a bite. <laughs> this is this is a whole chunk. This is half the cake, bro. <laughs> this is the cake, tea, and the biscuits. You're, you got no food left, bro. It's, it's done. <laughs> it's done. It's done in in such a way where you can't really be mad. At it. You, know you can't. You can't. Because you know what? Is it? it what, this is my homage to anything else, bro. Ooh, this is not homage, bro. This is a whole slap in the face, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree with that as well. Uh, I just, I just think, you know what? Van, what Van should have done is reached out and did the, did the proper collaboration. Because obviously, you know, this, this is why I keep saying, did the, the okay, cool, separate side matter, right? Separate subject. When guys grab your sneaker change the swoosh change the aesthetics build an idea from your aesthetics and release it they're paying homage cool kai even though it's got a lightning bolt even though everybody's saying he's buying nike he's paying homage ian is paying yeah. homage the best thing a company, if so, if I had a company and somebody was copying my idea and maybe making it a little bit better, let's be honest, right? And maybe a bit making it a bit different. I would not go out and say, I'm going to sue you. I'll be like, let's do something together. I like what you're doing. I appreciate what you're doing. Let's do something together. And you get, you get a collaboration. So you both earn money. Because like, bands could do a collaboration. Jordan could do a collaboration with Cool Kai. Can you imagine the hysteria behind that? Can you imagine, bro? Yeah. The 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 lightning bolt swoosh. 
and, and we and we thought Cort- Cortez was going to be like Cortez's height. Or the, the swoosh Imagine on the it, outside, the lightning bolt on the inside. I'm just saying. Wings like, logo it, on that, the left shoe and then that's, Kai that's logo good on business. the right shoe. <laughs> that's good business because the, 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 the you know what? I'm going to say one thing on that, on that matter and just leave it at that. There's nobody that's going to ride harder than, for you that there's somebody that appreciates your company and will love your company so much that they actually want to take some of your aesthetics and do it because they love your sneakers so much they want to put their whole personal touch to it. That is what it is. I don't know. Maybe not everybody want to be under the umbrella, though, or, um, you know, locked into something long-term. A lot of these designers, they want to do it on their own. That's why they have. And that's, um, yeah. once they once they reach a certain level, you know, being a collaborator, I would, I feel like I would enjoy, obviously you would also, but um, some of these, there's, I think some of these collaborators. There's a gauge. There's, there's, there's a definitely a gauge. Is as if you part if it passes a percentage on that gauge when they don't need you, then yeah. then it's over. But you have yeah. to capture them when they when they need you because when they when they need you, they need your manufacturing department, they need your strategy, they need your marketing, they need everything like that. What Nike has done to, with Cortez is perfect. That Cortez has gone from an underground, reputable, very influential company to now global company when nike has just said i'm going to give you that collaboration bang it's all like do you like the guys in the states even know what cool teasers now that's 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 what when cool kai was coming up and when that gauge was getting there that's when he, nike needed to step in and say you know what we're gonna take you we're gonna take you we're gonna love what you're doing we're gonna expose you to the world and you're gonna be part of our brand giving them that influence and that that strategy the marketing strategy the manufacturing might that takes it to a different level, hundred percent, bro. Yeah. Speaking of All a right. different level, last, last but not least, um, I want to, I want to quickly say, um, last thing I want to say, Travis Scott turned up to, um, to the Tokyo event, uh, the Tokyo store opening here for the Nike store. So a shout out to Travis Scott for going on all, all the way and supporting his brand, his his uh, company that he reps with, Nike. Um, that was a great shout. Um, it's good. I, I think Tokyo's opened up a new store. They've got these special events and special releases. They're releasing all the heat, bro. All the heat's coming out there. Um, Travis Scott's off white, all of that stuff, which is awesome to see. That's how that's how you do things right. When when you as a brand, you take it to a different, you open up a new comp, you open up, they did that in Milan as well. You open up a new store in a, in a big, big uh, capital city. And then you just get the artist to influence it. And you kind of release, have special releases, stash points. Um, you have sticker passes. You let people come to your store. That's awesome. I love that. I love, I've, I love the whole vibe behind that. It's, it's great to see. And it's awesome to see that they actually done it in Tokyo as well. So shout out to Travis, shout out to Nike and, and Jordan Rapp for doing that. Hard for the course, man. Hard for the course. When you do it, do it big. Yeah, exactly. Do it, do it, on, do it. Go all in or never. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's that's how I live my life. Go all when, in. When have we? When have they not done it big? They, I mean, that's that's kind of how they took off, really. Like they just went for it. I mean, we gonna yeah, we gonna see that in some of that in the movie. Like uh, even when just, um. What I can't remember what situation it was. Anyway, let me not waste time. But yeah, just do it. Just <laughs> do it, night. Just that's what that's what the thing is. Just do it. Like yeah. I, you know why I love. You know why Nike is such a revolution, and then they they don't even say the products are are iconic. They call it a revolution because that just do it. The whole sentence "just do it" should be a life motto for everybody because. Don't hesitate. If we hesitated, we won't be doing this. We won't be doing this podcast. If we hesitated, we won't be doing YouTube or Instagram or anything like that. Just do it. Have no fear. Go out and just do it. Because at the end of the day, failure is always going to be there around the corner. And number one failure is not doing it at all. So just do it, guys. Next subject, bro. Last quick strike. I ain't got no more. What, what? I, I thought no you question. were going to bring up Mr. Affleck. Mr. Affleck. No, nah, that's court, bro. Okay. Oh, yeah, yes. Main subject. Sorry, we spotted this court case. Main subject, bro. It is. Um, 
what are we need to talk about Adidas, bro. I thought the house was all in order. I thought Ivy Park was all good and mutual. I thought th th it was fruitful. Was wasn't that Adidas' statement? Uh, our our partnership, Ivy Park and Beyonce, is being providing <laughs> fruitful. It's being fruitful. Yo, those apples must taste taste sour, bro. Because that fruit was sour to a point where they're actually uh, mutually parted ways this week. Yeah. Um... <laughs> who, who pulled the trigger first? Who pulled the trigger first? Honest, let's, let's, let's be honest. Who pulled the trigger first? This came out of nowhere. Uh, I want to say Beyonce pulled out. Yo, I, that's what that's what my thoughts are. Cause like I, I was just thinking, who was he was doing? Who who actually pulled the trigger first? Nah, Let's see, be honest. Cause see, in the Carter household, they don't they don't do too well with negative press. So we just yeah. gonna go on and kill that. <laughs> we gonna go on and kill that. Rumors, hold on. Rumors about what? I ain't popping. My 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 shirts ain't popping. My shoes ain't popping. Okay, get what? We're gonna holler at y'all. Y'all keep y'all keep, keep all that, you know. All that what y'all got left, y'all can keep all that, do with that, whatever y'all want to do with, you know what I'm saying? Just just you know, let's go on and shut this on down. We done. Um we done. Can I can to, can I, I can have I my people something? call your people with the terms, you sign it, and we done. No more talk. I I think um I won't be surprised in six months if she, she turns up in Puma, bro. Why not? Her, her and her and uh, Rihanna are doing a Puma sneaker because Rihanna's already coming back for another Puma release, bro. Because we, I, we, that Puma release was like pre-COVID, like five or six years ago. She's coming back for another one. Um, she's been concentrating on her, on her makeup and uh, her um, lingerie and stuff like that. But um, I can she's see killing. her coming back and doing Rihanna's just killing, killing everything. She's doing yeah. whatever she, she wants. Can, can do, you can you imagine working. a Rihanna? Can you imagine Rihanna and Beyonce collaboration for a sneaker, bro? That's gonna be dope. I That's could, be I mean, it's in the family. It's all in the family. Yeah, bro. Um, <laughs> it's all in the. It's all Rock Nation. <laughs> I know, bro. It's it's gonna be dope. I, that, the biggest thing Rihanna did was sign for under Rock Nation for Jay Z. That's the biggest thing she did. It, it kind of propelled her into the into the higher higher. No, it wasn't no kind of that. I mean, that's when she became a superstar. Like, yeah. J I mean, the, you know what? It's, I thought it's her. Run, it's run her. The city. Run it's, the city it's song her was greatness. That. It's her greatness plus the machine. Yes, did it the rock, rock Nation machine. Um, but I'm going to say, I agree with you, bro. I think Beyonce's turned around and said, okay, that's fine. Let's keep it moving. And I think she pulled out and it's mute. And it's not like, it's not like Adidas released Beyonce. It's, it, I think, and you know what? I think she did it before they did it to her. Bro, do you know, do you know how cap that would sound? Yeah. Adidas cuts ties with Beyonce. Yeah. They to find and out they it was it was their idea. Come what? Who does that? Nah. In the world, who does that? Ain't no, bruh. The first company to come out and say they fired Beyonce will be the last company to have anybody of that caliber to work with. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm this is why I say it has to be. I think it's it's her decision. Um, her 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 people may not, you know, dig what's going on because you know uh, it's come to it's going to come out as creative differences. I think it's going to come out as creative differences right. in the it long run. Matter. It wouldn't even matter because the world will attack Adidas if they say something negative about Beyonce. <laughs> She's like got a massive following. She's got a massive Bruh, following, and come you know, on, come on, man. She like the queen of the United States. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> what you, yeah. What, what you gonna do with that? She, 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 she's a, she's she's basically a music idol, bro. Enough, enough to kind of be up there with one of the best in in, in the industry. So you can't attack somebody like that. Um, it's a bad image as well. So I, I do agree with you. I think Beyonce basically turned around and said, um, okay, cool, that's fine. I'm going to jump ship um, and just go and do my thing because I don't think you value... I, I, I keep saying this, bro. 
and I said it in the lot, and I said it's like five podcasts ago, and potentially. Adidas don't market this stuff properly. The Adidas don't support their brand artists properly. Like, like, how are you not? You, you just talked about Beyonce being the queen of the USA, or or even in the, in, in her industry, she's one of the leading artists ever uh, to grace that. How are you not even selling out her products? She's got a massive following, massive following. How how is that not translating into sales for her product? We don't. I don't even know if that's what it is for real. But like, I feel like it's more than that. I feel like the look of it. You know what I'm saying? I think because having negative situations is going to affect the brand across the board. Not yeah, cool. it. The Yeezy situation didn't just affect the Yeezy situation. It affected the Adidas situation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And bro. I, I feel like I feel like. If I was at her level, I wouldn't have been cool with all the negative press that's coming towards the brand while I'm affiliated with the brand. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, let's can I just say that Kanye effect? We're still feeling. If Adidas is still feeling the waves of that, bro. Yeah, we like, still talk. We just got through talking about it, whether he was gonna yeah, come yeah. back or not. And now ain't no ain't nothing else on that. That's that's just out the window. Yeah, it's it's kind of really the that impact that impact has been huge to to the to the point where now Jerry Lorenzo is got involved in we didn't hear from anything to do with Adidas's collaboration with Fur God for we've been asking for, we've been asking it seems bro it seems like it's been fast tracked. It's been fast tracked real no, quick. No, no, no. I wouldn't say that because we've been we've been podcasting for a while. Yeah. Um. Uh. We we like a year and a quarter. Yeah, we've and, been asking for it from the start. Yeah. So, I don't feel like it's been fast tracked. I think it's um, I think it's on time. Based on you know what, what? what you know what we were just saying, like all the negative attention, they need something positive. We've been asking for Jerry to come, come. Hold on, hold on, hold, hold, hold that picture. Hold, hold that picture. Let me just say this one, one thing. I'm gonna say, Adidas. How many innings are there in, in baseball? The seventh inning or ninth inning? Nah. Yeah, last ninth inning, you're up to bat. Beyonce struck out. Kanye struck out. Your last, your last hit on the pitch is Jerry Lorenzo. Last fast ball. You know, this is it. This is it. He needs a home run. And this is what it feels like to me. This is uh, Adidas saying, Jerry Lorenzo, fear of God, you're up. Let's see what you can do. That's what it feels like to me, bro. Yeah. Right. This is this is down in the base. No runners out on field. You got you have to hit that home run for that victory. Otherwise, you you strike out, you're out. You're out of it. Yeah. Literally, this is what it feels like to me at this, this moment in time. This is what it is, bro. Yeah. Let me let me just show you the picture you just put up. That's some quackers, bro. That's some quackers out here, bro. That in. looks some like, that looks like some duck shoes, bro. You ain't in on these? Uh, no, bro. No, bro. You know what? This ain't it. Th- this I ain't think, it, bro. I, I think you're thinking about um the cartoon ducks. Yeah, it looks like two. you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what yeah, I'm, you see yeah. what I'm getting at. This is why yeah. my sneaker news was like, it, this is go, this is quack quack cracking into production. Because yeah. when I saw the sample, I was like, yo, who wants some duck feet? Guess what? What? I ain't mad at these. <laughs> <laughs> yo, okay, cool. Okay, let, let me let me just reiterate to you the price of these feral gods, right? I ain't t- I ain't said I was <laughs> gonna buy them. No, no, no. Look, <laughs> they, they, Jerry, Jerry Lorenzo and um, Fear of God is high end fashion, right? Mm-hmm. It's it's priced at Gucci level, it's priced at Balenciaga level. The, his slides go for 170 when Kanye's goes for well, 65 the 90. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that, that, and this is what we're talking about, yeah. The the, the, the Fear of God ones were like 300. So, and to me, the Fear of God ones, and I thought about this the other day, the Fear of God one is like. A Jordan one with the Iron Man suit on. It, it's kind of got that futuristic vibe. I, I understand the Fear of God one, but the price this is, is similar bro. to the Fear of God one to me. 
and this is what I'm this is what I was about to say. That, that, that reminds me, that sneaker's not gonna be one hundred hundred dollars. That sneaker's not gonna be one hundred fifty dollars. That nah. sneaker's gonna be two fifty, bro. Oh, nah, I think it's gonna be three hundred or better. There you go, bro. That's that I was two two finger two fifty to three hundred. Now bro, you wave do the collaboration. Uh, two seventy, right? Wave runners. <laughs> yeah, I think they was like no two fifty. Wave wave runners two fifty here, yeah. bro. The classification of that sneaker is more like a. It's not. I can't classify it as a weight as a wave runner. That's no, 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 that no, no, to no. me. That to I'm me is saying, like I'm a. Saying, I'm saying the wave runner is a premium sneaker. Yeah, it was priced at two fifty, two hundred fifty dollars. Yeah, that's correct. so. Let's say um, a wave runner to Adidas is the equivalent of the Jordan One. Um, when when the fear of God. One came out right. No, I, I no 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 no. no. I'm, I'm not. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about like um, two twenty five. The two twenty five yep. price point price point for Nike at that yep. time was equivalent to the Wave Runner being two fifty, right? Yep, 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 yep. Same old sneaker, but because Nike rarely dropped sneakers that was two fifty, they had a couple that was two fifty. But most of the time, the, the the special releases, the collabs, like the Amma My Years and whatnot, they two twenty five, right? Yeah. So yep. two twenty five for Nike for the collab, the limited collab. So the two twenty five price point for Nike uh, collab, high heat. Yeah. Three fifty on the Fear of God one. Yep. 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 So if a wave runner is two fifty, <laughs> what is that fear of God gonna be? Four hundred, bro. Yeah, the, but the thing is, the, from my perspective, the the Jerry Lorenzo fear of God range is high end fashion. It's it's like Adidas trying to convert that high end fashion into a regular sneaker. It's not gonna work. You're gonna, you, you know what? The the Y freeze is literally a high end fashion sneaker. It's like a yeah. It's a, like, Range is like a range where they've up the up the quality, up the levels, and done the collaboration. Why this reminds me of the Y three range. It's going to be a fear of God range within within the within Adidas. So you're saying that they're going to try and change this Y three uh, like this um, fear of God into a Y three another range of the Y three because this is going to be quite expensive to buy, and it feels like the even though it's high in prices, they're trying to fill that 1.6 billion hole that they've got. They're trying to recover. So the only logical sense was to do a collaboration with Jerry Lorenzo and Fear of God and to kind of cover that. But who's going to buy it that at that range? Unless you can really afford to go into high in fashion I mean, and want to buy that. No, it's, it's still a long game, bro. And I mean, it ain't like um, Fear of God is whack or something you know what i'm saying it's not it, it's, 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 it's and not no disrespect to sean witherspoon uh jerry is still more um i think culturally relevant than even he is and the fact yeah. that he he hasn't dropped a sneaker you know his own sneaker in so long because i think that's that's what we want from him we used to him doing his own thing you know what i'm saying with nike he 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 came with a brand new silhouette, and that's what people want. So the fact that he's back with a brand new silhouette, and I like I said, I don't think this is bad. Um, it's not the greatest. I like the Nike better, but I do see like his vibe, his aesthetic is in this. You know what I'm saying? I think it's why was why why did Jerry come out and rebuttal the leaks? I mean, this might not be what they're gonna release. But I like I do and like this though. Do you, do you feel like it was um, leaked for public opinion of, of what what the public are saying? Because I react, I, didn't, I don't know what the reaction is. I, I don't I don't feel like this is the best kind of look of us for a, for a fear of God. Um, but I can understand where the vibe is coming from, and as you say, it looks like it does look like a fear of God one. Yeah, I just. I just, I just don't know. I, what's, what's happening with the Puma? Uh, with not Puma. What's happening with the basketball range in Jerry Lorenzo's kind of hole? This is basketball. Is it? Yeah, it looks like it got boost in it. <laughs> all I'm, all I'm saying is I'm not impressed at this moment in time. Um, PJ Tucker go hooping that. 
Yeah, well, that's going to be... We need to see that. We definitely need to see that. But um, all I'm going to say is I'm not impressed with what I've seen at this moment in time. And it, it I feels like... I guarantee you PJ Tucker is trying to get a pair of these right now. <laughs> I probably. guarantee as soon as he saw it, he probably saw it before everybody else did. Or possibly, yeah, um, but, but the... Um, the um, no, he got, not, he got, not, he got slides. I'm not impressed. Though. Yeah, but those slides are going to be like, what, $100? And they look like they're worth about twenty dollars. <laughs> Not even twenty. <laughs> they look they look real delicate. Oh no! But, them, it, what, them, but in, instead of the three stripes, are we getting three? That is three, three dots. Stripes. Three, yeah, what, what, what stripes? Are stri- stripes are obviously Jimmy, diagonal, bro. bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, but um, I'm gonna be I'm, either way. I'm not what impre- do you mean? I want to see stripes on the ranges. referee jersey. Yeah, I, w- I want to see what the full range is because I want to see what he's coming out with. It, it feels like it's been fast-tracked. It feels like not, they want an immediate impact from the collaboration. It feels like they're losing artists left, right, and center. Beyonce is gone. Kanye can't do business with at the moment. They don't know what they're doing with the Yeezys. Sean Weatherspoon's doing his own range, unique range, which is still good for, for Adidas. Um, uh, but it just feels like yeah, they need a big though. hitter. They, yo, um, we 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 understand that because he is, it's kind of a unique range, and he's a new, unique person to do a unique nah. range, and that's what what it is. It's, it is what it is, bro. Like you feel get, from that angle. Majority of of the notifications that I get from Soul Links, shout out Soul Links, by the way. The majority of the notifications I get are Adidas sneakers on sale. Yeah, I uh, and. This is this is what I'm trying to say. They need a big hitter, and the only the only person that hasn't done the collaboration with Adidas at the moment is Jerry, and and fear of God, and this is why I said it feels like this is the last battle for the last innings in that series, and they need a home run, bro. Let's they need a home Jerry... run to tie the game, <coughs> tie the I game, think, bro. I think Jerry's still relevant enough to push the envelope a little bit. I think. Um, I mean, these look decent. People are gonna eat these alive in the summertime just because it's fear of God. They go with the essentials. The fear, they yeah. they steady dropping the hats. The hats stay love- selling out. It don't matter what the hat looked like. If it got that F on it, it's out of there. Like Bro, I'm gonna say one thing. I'm gonna say, definitely say one thing. The essentials range is absolutely dope. I love that. It is almost like a so simplistic. Put where to go with it? Yeah, People yeah, I understand. It. I understand, like it's simplistic enough to be so dope, and uh, and it, it gives you different color palettes all the way through the range, and I, and I understand it, I love it. But in terms of sneakers, I don't understand that. At the all. cool part about it that that uh, I just thought about too, essentials is his own thing, right? Yeah, it's not attached to Adidas. No, so. He has a long-standing relationship with Adidas at this point, yep. and he has yet to release his own thing. Nope. But Essentials is doing way better <laughs> than anything Adidas is doing. Jerry, you're up for batting. We need a home run. There you go, guys. This is what it's all about. It's just it's like it's like the opposite of off white to an extent because yep. Nike helped bring off white to the forefront, right? Everybody knows who Jerry, Jerry Lorenzo already booming. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry already booming, bro. Like off white was already his own thing, you know, on the high fashion end. You know, rappers was wearing it and whatnot. But when the off white Nike collab came. Then everybody knew about Off White, not just high do, end people. Do you want to do you want to know a lightning bolt moment? Kanye came from Nike. Kanye had the Yeezy one and twos. Kanye was relevant, and that's brought him in to do his own range. Jerry did the Nike. Jerry kind of <laughs> does his own thing. Jerry's doing well by himself. Now they're bringing him in. They want a immediate impact, bro. They need Jerry to do yeah. something big. This it is why work, I say 
it might work. Hopefully, it does work. Hopefully, Adidas are, are re- up there again and doing numbers again and still competing with Nike and New Balance and Puma or whoever wants to come along because we like to see competition because it thrives and brings excellence to the forefront. But unfortunately, this situation with Jerry is similar to what happened with Kanye in mm-hmm. in if you look at it if you look at it from wh- how where they came from not not the, the fact that Jerry's made his own brand by of his own back and stuff like that that's very that's very epic right but little, more or less they came from Nike they would added that they're doing the collaboration it it feel that vibe is coming up from Jerry and it just looks like for me from my perspective they need the big hit they need yeah. a big hit and this is the last chance Last chance think, saloon, bro. I think Jerry got it, man. Um, you reckon? I think Jerry got it, man. Let's not not. I, I don't. He, I'm not going. Not what he's coming up with? Let's not not what he's coming up with. No, I'm not going to put no type of prediction on it. This is this is not horrible. Like I know people probably clowning this. Y'all would probably think that I would be one of those people, but it's something about it. It's it's. I understand it. I'm not mad at it. And it's okay, Jerry. Cool. Like I'm, I'm, I'm a little biased to Jerry. Like I think the the fear of God one. Even though I'm not, um, I'm not like a super fan of that shoe. I think it's a good shoe. Um, I give it like a five. It's not a super goat to me. You know, what I'm saying yeah. as, as far as the from a nostalgic standpoint, but I understand what that shoe did. Um. It, you know, people love the shoe, the resale price, crazy, all that. I, the design aesthetic, because I like the the Fear of God raids. Yeah, that's that's still a shoe that's on my on my list. You know, what I'm saying, I and they were quite easier to get. Oh. That was easier to get as well. That's that's probably why I ain't got them yet, because I didn't yeah. jump over that and got a little, you know, a little. little crazy uh, cool. so, <laughs> going back to your pricing range, right? Like we know, three fifties were now one eighty. Like, uh, they're one eighty now, or one eighty, or two hundred, whatever they're going to charge for them now because obviously this is, inflation. This is more than a three fifty. Easy. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. That's that's the relevance I'm trying to bring here. I think is I think is more than than a wave runner. That what we're seeing on screen is a, is a leak sample of 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 what I'm going to call it. Uh, it looked practice. dirty too. It looked worn, like a wave. Yeah, it looked worn. Or something. <laughs> that to me is equivalent to a 350 right that to that me that, that that to me if it's the first release sneaker if this is like like we want to do another rehash of the 350 range that to me looks like a um, d- except for except for the fact that it's a high um i'm talking about the relevance of the first sneaker that comes out which is going to be the predominant sneaker that comes out just like a jordan one is to a jordan and like the 350 is to a yeezy this is going to be the iconic sneaker for fear of god that to me is the is like a 350 in terms of the relevance of that sneaker um I'm only comparing price, it to the Fury God Nike. You know, I'm, I'm, you're talking about the, the aesthetics or look of it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking, talking about, about the whole package. The whole package. That's that's where my that's where I, why I landed where I did with the um, the pricing. I think it's going to be more than anything else. Okay, if it, if it, if it's three fifty, are you? I I think maybe it will sell out once first model. Maybe model might sell out. Then it depends on how the others do because if you keep releasing these for three fifty, it's not going to sell out, bro. That's my honest yeah. opinion. It would depend on what the first one did. I think yeah. this, the long game, bro. Once again, going back to the long game. I think with certain stuff, you got to play the long game. Sometimes when you move too fast, you end up in a bad situation. Like. I, I feel like with the um, when the rebellion there came out, right? Then we got the vision there, and we got the yep. heirloom. The I think the rebellion there should have been his own thing. Yeah. Even though I bought the vision there, I'm not gonna wear it. Like sitting sitting with it, looking at it, pulling it out the box, you know. I'm cool. Yes. I think this is one of them type of situations with this Jerry 
suppose it, uh, Jerry Sample, if it come out looking anything like this, right? Or or it is actually this. Maybe this is a uh, Jason Tatum situation. <laughs> Speaking on it, right? <laughs> if if it yeah. come out, let it come out and see what it do before you jump to other colorways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I hope um I hope and pray um it's successful. Um, and if it, if it is successful, I hope it kind of puts not added us back into the right track. Like I say, I like to see all the companies do well. And um, even though we have to, as as consumers, we have to say like it is. We have to give an honest opinion. We have to be truthful to ourselves with when it comes to re- releases. We have to call out the bad and the good at the same time. This is what we're here to do. But from my perspective, I wish and I hope they all come out on top. Um, Adidas still starts to compete with um, Nike and all the other brands so that they can kind of keep bringing in the good, excellent sneakers. We can get another run of a boost run or a or a different range run or a Yeezy run that brings a bit more excitement that we will keep, keep talking about, not just Nikes and Jordans. Like, let's just be honest. Yeezy gave a kick up Nike's rear end. And what we're seeing with Nike over, over through COVID and post COVID and the releases and the collaborations and all of that stuff was inspired by Yeezy. Are, are, are we are we saying that? Yeah, because I don't think we would have seen half the releases, potentially not, uh, maybe even like forty or thirty percent of the releases that we saw, and the fact that once uh, Yeezy was ju- saying jump, um, Adidas jumped over Jumpman, that that kind of affected the whole Jordan range. Yeah. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I don't think we necessarily agree on some of the, um, <clears throat> the whys about that, but in general, yeah. Yeah. Like, it, so, it's, it's, so now it's, 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 there were a lot of factors that uh, contributed to what was going on with when, yep. when Yeezy was at his height, like, yeah, ideas, yep. you know, different, different, uh, <laughs> different technologies. A lot of stuff. The react, react happened during the height of Yeezy. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. yeah, Nike, Nike had to, Nike had to ramp it up. Yep, and then Nike just went checkmate, and uh, or or even check, and to to what what the situation was, and now, um. Adidas trying to maneuver out that situation. But um, because Adidas just got their hand and put a grip on the game, like literally, yo, I'm tightening my grip on this on this trophy, um, this number one trophy that you want to claim. And it kind of excelled. And this is why I said competition brings competition, brings excellence, brings different things to the game. And this is what I love about it. Because like, if Jerry comes out racing out the blocks and all of a sudden we've got this amazing sneaker, amazing collaboration, then... It's now game on. Now it's what is the other companies going to do? What is New Balance going to do? What is Adidas going to do in terms of increasing the uh, notoriety with that range? What are Nike going to do? What are Puma going to Yo, Bro, I love it because then it means we get awesomeness. And it kind of brings more excitement into that range. Like this moment in time, we're talking about sneaker releases. And every time we talk about sneaker releases, it's just Jordan, Nike. Jordan, Nike, some New Balance, some Puma, some this and that, or or um the M, uh, the New Balance um Mellow Balls and stuff like that. If you, if you, we're not talking about Adidas, and that's a pity. I, I I even though even though you're Nike semi employee, right? <laughs> but, see what I'm saying? So so like for me from my perspective, I love to see competition. I love to see the excellence breed out and quality breed out. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what Jerry's come, coming up with. Even though I'm not impressed at this moment in time, let's see what the finished products look like because we know there's a difference between mock-ups, samples, leaks, and finished product. Well, clearly that was a real shoe. I mean, I know a lot of people um, doing amazing things with uh, 3D printing and, and designing and whatnot, but I don't think somebody come up with a whole real-looking uh, fake fear of God. Adidas, yeah, you know no, no, no. <laughs> like, they, 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 they wouldn't. Them, them pictures look super legit to me, and I just I can't wait to see. I like I say, I'm not in to buy. Yeah, but 
Not that I don't even think I could pull off a lot of this stuff that I like, but I wouldn't buy. Because I do, I feel like I could pull off that Jerry Lorenzo sample, right? But yeah, yeah, that ain't really my style like that. You know what I'm saying? All right. So, so <clears throat> the reason why I'm not, I'm not down with that sample is I'm just sharing the screen and I'm just gonna say, Mickey did it first, bro. Mickey Mouse did Man, it first with the three, three strikes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying what I see and what I see is what I say and I'm just saying the Mickey Mouse gloves with the three notches on the hat on the palm of the or the back of the hands reminds me of those Jerry Lorenzo sneakers I'm just saying bro I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for something I'm waiting for something, something impactful because like um, people are going to be saying those are, those are the Mickey that's Mouse the, Jerry Lorenzo people ones. are not going to be saying that that's your brain <laughs> You can't put the way you think on everybody else, man. I put it out. Man. I put I put it out there, and everybody's gonna be saying this now. What's your space? <laughs> That's what's wrong with you now. Okay, next main subject is Foot Locker closing four hundred stores by twenty twenty six. Four hundred underperforming stores. That is. So, it makes sense, bro. It makes yeah. sense. Um, I could think of one story in particular that might get closed. However, it's not a mall store. They talking about closing mall stores. Yeah, yeah. And going to more um, standalone shopping center, plaza type situations. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I can think of one standalone store. It's in a shopping center, so I don't know if that's necessarily standalone, but y'all know what I mean. Um, mm-hmm. <clears throat> and it's like maybe f- five or six doors away from a big, nice DTLR. And this little bitty old Foot Locker store is like one eighth of the size of this DTLR. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and this yeah. this little video foot like a store they get grs but they don't get very many pairs at all so it's very very difficult to win raffles there um and when they do get pairs it may be i say yeah, just just GRs, bro. Like ain't nothing, nothing premium, nothing exclusive at all. Really, gonna be at that store. So, so, so strategically speaking, I think they they they're doing the right move to up. Uh, sometimes during when you're in your hypened era, or when you're actually doing really well, you open up as many stores as possible because people know uh, that you're a reputable brand and they will shop with you because of the name of the reputation of your company. Uh, at this moment in time, obviously now they're looking at it, reflecting that there's a downturn. The catalyst on this downturn is obviously coming out of COVID, and the catalyst of the downturn is obviously sneakers are more way more expensive and the cost of living. All of that, all of the all of the recent catalysts combined have actually negated this kind of strategy in terms of st- shutting down 400 very underperforming stores. And it makes sense because why have those stores open and waste that overhead and that and obviously the employee costs. I I hope those employees get rerouted to the bigger stores and if there's more volume there. I I, I was, uh, uh, yeah, you, you only can hope. You only can hope because basically, um, it's sad to see unemployment go up for four hundred, four hundred stores. But even if even if they had ten employees working on four or in these four hundred stores, you're still looking at four thousand people. Being right, unemployed. it's too many. It's too many to go around. So now everybody is going to be able to get them same opportunities. Maybe some tenured people, some managers, of course, you know, going to get yep. moved around or whatever. But uh. It's not going to be good from an employment standpoint, for sure. Um, because we know now Foot Locker is the main affiliate. Champs is still around. They didn't yep. speak on Champs, but they could. So it could be some Champs locations included with that. We know they yep. just shut down all the foot actions. We know East Bay is done. So it's just not looking good for Foot Locker in general. But they're making so many different moves that seem to be – less good for, for for the average sneakerhead because mm-hmm. the, with the flex, right? 
with their raffle system. And we're talking about 400 stores nationwide, which is a lot. With the flex system, it allows you to do in-store pickup and ship to me. So it yeah. seemed like to me, they moving more towards the ship to me model. And that's going to last for a while because they're talking about opening up more stores standalone, you know, outside of the mall and shopping centers or whatever the case is. So in between that process, and we're talking about 2026, so this is going to be a slow grind where a lot of people are not going to be able to enter pickup raffles. Next next three years. I, I think the strategy for them is to move to areas where there's no other stores that can come they can compete with. I think that's, that's why they take it out. At this point. Yeah, I know, I know. But this is why they're talking about malls, because if you've got like a DTLR, if you've got like a JD, if you've got like a, a Nike store and all of that stuff in one store, then who's you're only gonna go to the stores that you like and Foot Locker with with the reputation that as it is at the moment is moving away from other competitors to kind of bring um the audience back in different areas the huge impact bro is what we saw last year and the year before that when nike came out and said they're going to go with a bit more direct to customer and the, the other retailers ain't going to get as many pairs this is the direct implication of that as well bro if you if i'm honest uh I can see where you where you can make that correlation i think it's less about that though than it is about the Foot Locker in general, just because of everything that we've been seeing taking place over the past couple of years with eBay and, and um, Foot Action in particular. Mm -hmm. Like Champs, Champs is still there. I ain't heard nothing about Champs, but Champs ain't popping like it was during the pandemic either with releases. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and with their website, like the, the Champs app has been really glitchy <laughs> like for the past couple of months bro, bro. I, I, and uh, somebody I'm told me told me missing this. missing releases uh not not being able to log in to even see the release calendar recently. yeah i i heard i heard somebody tell me somebody told me in the uk that their foot, Lock, foot locker app hasn't been updated for quite a while or the and even, i think some of the other apps have not been updated you know what's really funny is um over the last two years, I've seen Foot Locker reduce their releases. I've seen Foot Locker not get exclusive sneakers. I've seen sneak Foot Locker not get the, like the Jordan releases like they used to pre-COVID and during some of the COVID era. Um, mm -hmm. I, it kind of it kind of feels like they're losing a lot of stock from a lot of, uh, especially Nike and Jordan brand. They're losing a lot. Um, is Foot Locker releases? When I think of Foot Locker now, I don't even contemplate a raffle, bro. I don't even so contemplate. They was already in trouble, right? Yeah. Then the Nike news came because yeah. it, <laughs> bro, it was a double down moment. It was literally the double down moment. Like we're in trouble, and then Nike is like, we're going direct to customer a bit more, so we're not going to give. And they and they specifically named Foot Locker in that whole thing. We're not going to give Foot Locker because that that's when a when a company says your name that they provide you stock to, and they say your name. Damn, that's a, that's a damning statement. Bro, the, all the backdooring had to do with that too, I think. Yeah. There's a lot of backdooring going on at Foot Locker stores. Facts, bro. Facts. You were spitting facts here, bro. <clears throat> I'm talking about Foot Locker champs and foot action also. There's Let's just say that. that going on during the pandemic. The, the whole, you know what? You if, re, if reputation was a white, clean rug, Let's just say a lot of dirt's been thrown on that. Like, like the re the backdooring, the, the the employees messing around with sneakers and leaving residue. The, the hot, they went through the mud, bro. That then getting, put Nike getting, coming getting up. stuck with uh fakes, the fake swaps people used to do. Yeah, fake swaps, and also on top of that, Nike coming out and saying that they're not going to provide as much stock, and then they say your name. Yeah. That you can see, you can see where that downturn came, and this is why they. Uh, the reason the Nike came out and said that statement, and actually like said Foot Locker specifically, there was meaning behind that, bro. You don't, you don't come out and say, um, you don't, you okay, you don't come out and say, yeah, I bought fakes, and and no, some some reseller bought fakes, and we're gonna investigate. You say StockX 
you supply fakes to this reseller. They specifically said your name. Then that means that's big implications. That means there's something in the background that we're not aware of that's happening, especially with Fort Locker. Yeah, I feel like I also got um, got stake with um, goat. Yeah, I know. So I know that that Every, could I, that could have something to do with it too. They might be making they might be making so much over there, or not so much over there. We don't know. And um, wasn't there a little bit of a um, thing that Foot Locker might be putting in their store a resale function? And was it, and what isn't Nike going up against resale at the moment? Yo, yo, all I'm saying is something in the background that we aren't aware of. Um, so like, but yes, so like put in a resale function. I, that that's conflict of interest, bro. That's proper conflict of interest. That we said that we said that from the start when we heard that. Uh, we didn't believe that, but there was rumors coming out. But we was like, that's a big conflict of interest because all the stock you've got, you can do that too. Yeah, you can't do that. That's a massive conflict of interest. It's gonna be interesting to see what the new strategy for Foot Locker is. I hope they don't end up being another company that f- kind of slowly but surely goes down. You heard of Sports Direct? Yeah, yeah. Sports Direct are that company that were that company back in the day. They were the foot asylums. They were like that company that actually had premium stuff, and all of a sudden, it slowly but surely went down. Sneakers that aren't sneakers that more suited to athletics than anything else. They don't get the Jordans. They don't get the stuff like that. So it, it, I hope that Foot Locker don't ha- that hasn't happened to Foot Locker. But it's all built on reputation. It's all built on. Your strategy, and I hope this. St- I hope they get the strategy right because it'll be it'll be such a pity that a a company and the reputation of Foot Locker has actually gone down backwards so much so that now even Nike doesn't want to mess with you. Yeah, that's not a good look at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's, so, there's so much bad news around in Foot Locker, man. It's, and with with the and I, I'll be the first one to say I ain't been satisfied with. Foot Locker in a, in a while. Um, I still get W's on Foot Locker. I just got a W on the white cement threes at Foot Locker. But um, it's just not looking good. In general, it's not looking good. And we keep getting negative news. It's just yeah, d- blaming it on nobody else, bro. <laughs> yeah, you, the, the thing is, it's just self-inflicted. internal with Foot Locker that's, that's just not right. Yeah, it's, it's very much self-inflicted because we had releases using the app um a while back before covid and when covid hit they were calling calling like call us in and we'll reserve your sneak and that went that went down the pan and was like why have you moved from a system of pr- applying raffles to a phone system and now they've gone back to a uh fill form system where you fill it in and and it kind of logs your entry i don't understand what the strategy was behind that and a lot annoyed a lot of people and a lot of people couldn't take foot locker seriously because it's like whenever we try to call your phones are busy and you can't justify why your phones are busy even when the raffles not open your phones are busy nobody answers your phones even if you keep calling and calling and calling nobody answers your phones so what's the point there was never a point to that that's why they already been proven guilty in the court of sneaker court of public opinion because <laughs> yeah pretty we, much. Took, we took foot we didn't took foot like the court like four five times they've been hammered bro <laughs> we've been hammering them with the with the with the, with the ga- gabble of justice bro hey speaking but, of which but but before we move before we move on to the the last segment i i want to i want to raise this question with you i saw this day over the weekend right why are og sneaker quality I'm talking. I'm talking a prime example. White cement threes. A prime example. Chicago twos. Not as good as regular GR sneakers, like the pine green twos or the lucky green twos, like the cardinals or the desert elephants. Why is the quality worse than a regular GR sneaker? I can say. I noticed that this weekend, bro. I noticed I've been noticing that for the last couple of months. Yeah, we everybody has. <laughs> it started with the. Sure. It, it really is. It's, it's a recent thing. Um, yeah, it started with the lost and founds, and 
Well, not really, because no, Chicago Two is the one I've really noticed it. Yeah, the twos, the fiery fours, Carmine. Yeah. Oh, no, man. It, it's not every it's not every single one though. But we've been getting them back to back recently with the the lost and found, the twos, yeah. um, and the threes. So, yeah, I I I, I, I went to Foot Locker. And I looked at the I looked, I looked Chicago twos were there, P- Lucky Green twos were there. Um, so obviously white cement threes were in, in my rotation. I'm looking at it, and the, the leather doesn't feel as great as some of the other threes that were released recently. I was like, well, that's a bit weird. Like this is a, this is an OG sneaker. Why the, the quality is not like the same as the GRs or even better? Because okay, cool, it's good, but it's not like premium. It's not like OG oh, sneaker bag. It's like absolutely fire. The quality is fire. Everything. There, there's always something about an OG, and you're thinking, why, why? Chicago Twos is the one, bro. Like, why did it? You know, it's really funny. Pull up if you have a chance to go to the guys. Go to the local retailer. Chicago Twos are sitting. Lucky Green Twos are sitting. Close your eyes. Put somebody get them to put them in your hand and feel them. And I guarantee you think the Chicago 2 was a lucky green 2. Because that quality on that lucky green 2 is phenomenal, bro. I don't know. I ain't seen them in hand, so. Go check them out, bro. I'm My moving Chicago right. good. I like the Chicago 2s. The, the lever's not up to scratch, bro. That's your opinion. I yes, my opinion. <laughs> my opinion alone, but go and check them out. Go to the retailer store and, and go and check them out because they're actually sitting and you'll be surprised about the quality difference between the two sneakers. And I'm just like, okay. That's in that the, is what it is. Not, not in the US. What are you talking about, Willis? <laughs> Ain't no Chicago 2 sitting over in the United States of America. <laughs> Yo, bro, they're on sale here. Okay. <laughs> it's not here. <laughs> Okay, let's get to our final segment, bro, because this is going to be quite interesting. <laughs> when resale is too high. Damn, resellers. Hold up, hold up. When hype beats go too far. These damn hype beats. Hold up, hold up in the court, hold up. When the back door opens. Guilty. It's time for. Order in the court. The sneaker court of public Guilty. opinion. Guilty. Okay, cool. Today we have one court case on the docket. And basically, this is the sneaker court of public opinion with sneaker ju- for judge public opinion and execute. Shana, bro. Okay, cool. Bring out that book, bro. Bring out that book of justice, the book of sneakerdom, the book of the dog, the shoe dog podcast book. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Go on, tell us the court case, bro, today. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. What, why is Ben Affleck the se- so, the air movie, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. If you listen to this, more than likely you're going to see or have seen the air movie. Or else, I mean, what's the point of being here if you don't care about that movie, right? <laughs> yeah, the good yeah. thing is, we hear the movie is great. Okay, I've read, that's a good, I've read a good that, that the movie is great. So, Ben Affleck, one of the stars of the movie, at the premiere is signing Jordans. I get it. This is a Nike movie. He's playing Phil Knight in the movie. Yeah. So, yes, he can sign Jordans. Yeah, yeah. I think it's legit. However, (laughs) <laughs> when you pull up when you pull up to the premiere of the air movie 
I would like to think. Now, I don't know how these things work. Let me preface this by saying, I don't know how these things work. I don't know if it's like invite only or like press here, regular people or there. The yeah, like can you just pull up and be there? I like I know. Premier no, 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 no. You, you have to. You have to have tickets ain't invite. easy to get. No, you, you, ha you have to be. I'm talking about the people that's. I'm talking about the people that's behind the barricade going crazy. I think I think you can turn up there, but the the people that are allowed in the premiere are actually you can get tickets, but also you have to be members of the company that that work with the company. Yeah, stuff yeah, like that. yeah. So one of my one of my one of my mates actually is always invited to movie premieres um, because he works in the industry and right. he basically goes to all like the all the ones no, he works I'm with. Not he talking, to, I'm not talking those people. I'm talking yeah. the people in the crowd. Yeah, they, they just turn the up. They can turn up. They can turn the up. cameras and the yelling and the reaching and all that, right? This just me, <laughs> just me, right? If I decided I'm gonna go to the premiere of the air movie, I'm not wearing the what if what are those were a type of Jordan sneakers to the premiere. Yeah, you wouldn't. I would probably wear my lost and founds. If I didn't have lost and founds, I would wear my, you know, a pair of threes or you know, something. A pair. I got other ones I could wear. You know, that would be signature worthy. So, so what you what you're saying is you want Ben Affleck, right? Who's playing Phil Knight, right? To wear. Do you want to bring an OG to? No, no, no. I'm not talking about Ben Affleck. Once again. No, no, I'm, I'm, talking, about, about, I'm talking about you're going to meet Ben Affleck. You're going to go to the premiere. You're going to take yeah, a sneaker with you. But you, what I, what your preference, personal preference will be is to take a sneaker that's an OG grade sneaker, like a, a Shadow or a Chicago or a Bread or a, a Royal. Or don't take, don't, just don't take the Jordan Access. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take the Jordan access <sighs> to the air movie premiere. Let, let me say this. Because this is the court of public opinion, right? My public opinion is this sneaker is trash. This is <laughs> yet another example of a donor sneaker yeah, for a okay. soul swap. Yep, because this has the Jordan 1 bottom. This is a soul swap shoe right here, ladies and gentlemen. If you call yourself a sneakerhead, a collector, if you if you participate in the sneaker culture in a certain way, to a certain level, and this uh, this is me being a snob, okay? I'm going to go ahead sneaker and snobbery, that. bro. <laughs> sneaker snobbery. <laughs> but I I got I, I because I, I know how it come off. Yeah, yeah. This you don't wear this. If you wear if you're wearing this to the air movie premiere, this is the only Jordan that you have in your collection because you ran out and grabbed this off the shelf. You went you just went and grabbed the first thing that you thought that even resembled <laughs> the Jordan, the Jordan one. one. <laughs> Maybe and he just didn't want to get LV, his just other because, Jordan. Just because you wanted to go to the premiere and you thought it would be cool if you had Jordans on at the premiere. Yeah, Which is I'm, a fact. I'm, it is cool to have what, Jordans on at the premiere, but not this. Of course this. it is. But, but maybe it was just another... Maybe he's got Jordan ones nah, and doesn't want them nah, signed. You now you're shooting bail. Hold on. Nah. You can't I, shoot I, bro. no bail. Ain't no bell. I'm gonna go ahead and get you this yellow, <laughs> this yellow sneaker right here. Who me? Yes, you. you. I'm the judge, bro. You can't give me giving him here. Ain't yellow no bell. <laughs> ain't no bell being shot right here on this right here. You can't save this, okay? You no, yeah, cannot no. save. You can't. You can't. Wearing the, the situation Jordan access and actually making it far enough at the right time to have the right opportunity to take your shoe off. And stick it over the rail, and Ben Affleck has signed your Jordan Access on the red carpet of the premiere of the Nike Air movie. Goodness gracious! <laughs> if you don't get this out of here, 
<laughs> if you don't get this you, out of here. <laughs> Uh, bro, Man, you, that on. got you. That got you. That literally got you, bro. You, come you up on. in your feelings of that. I do agree. It's. I, I think. I think. Um. That was not a good look. I'm just to be honest. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Guilty, but I'm gonna say oh. one thing. This is clout. I think this is clout chasing. I'm gonna be honest because you, the guy, actually posted it after the movie to say, "Look, I got Ben Affleck to sign my Jordan access." <laughs> bro, I think it's clout chasing, bro. It's, it's funny, but the, yeah, it's not a good look. I would, I if I was going there, I'd bring an OG. I'd bring an OG, OG one to get get signed. Uh, definitely because that that's got some meaning to it because obviously that we know the legacy with Jordan and and Mike and how it began because we 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 love that kind of history. But um, the air movie, if you go into the air movie, don't bring, like if you go into the air premiere, especially the air premiere, don't bring out a Jordan access sneaker. You yeah. bring out some, bring out some fire with your bro. Yeah. I'll take my homage to Holmes. I'll take my homage to Holmes, bro. That's a good one to take. Listen, yeah, this 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 the thing, bro. That's killing me. That I that I can't get out of my head. Somebody had the intent of going there and getting this particular shoe shot assigned by by one of the actors, bro. Like the the question is, was this a coincidence or was this the intent? This is the intent. You know why? Because you can get your you can you, you can bring in uh, you can bring attention to your Instagram account. You can you can be the person that actually Whoa. yo bro, you to can be the person that actually off. Ben Affleck. <laughs> to pull this off, if this was the intent, it worked from bro. the beginning to get this shoe signed by Ben Affleck to it pull worked. that off is one in a million, bro. But it worked though. It worked, and this is why I think it's it's staged. This is why I think it's staged, bro. It, you know what? If it's not staged, you're not guilty. But at this moment in time, you got to come out. <laughs> you, you, it's one no, thing I'm on the guilty. stage. Guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Get this out of here, man. All right, either you're guilty of taking that sneaker or guilty of clout chasing, but you're guilty one man or another. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yes, sir. When resale is too high. Damn resale. Hold up, hold up. When hype beats go too far, did that hype beast order order in the court order? When the back door opens. Guilty. It's time for order in the court. The sneaker court of public Guilty. opinion. So what we're going to say on that scenario is if it's clout chasing, that's clout chasing gone right. One situation with clout chasing has gone right because you can't have planned that any better because you've got people talking about that off the bat, bro. I was, if, if I just want the home run, get employ that guy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> it worked. It worked. He, it got it went. With, he got it done with a Jordan access and got it signed, bro. Yo, uh, do, do you think he went in with a Jordan Axis hoping that we get access to the premiere? <laughs> you know what? This has been episode 60 of the Shoot the Hub podcast. <laughs> we appreciate everybody for tuning in, man. Appreciate Thank all y'all support, man. Um, once again, y'all hit all them buttons. All the buttons down there at the bottom of the video. Hit yeah. all them buttons, man. Like, hit them. follow, subscribe. Wait, except the got... thumbs down. Don't hit the, the, the one. Yeah, don't hit button, the thumbs up. But the rest don't of the hit the rest up. <laughs> <laughs> we love you. Don't hit, don't hit the thumbs up. Uh, by the way, guys, um, just want to say a big thank you to everybody that keeps showing support and love. Um, we haven't forgotten about you guys because you always come back. You always show us love. You always kind of interact. You always talk. You always give us thumbs up and comments and and kind of come at us and and ha give us good encouragement because this this show is growing. This always, show is always going to keep growing. We're doing good numbers on YouTube. We're doing good numbers on the audio platform. So I'm just want to take this time and say thank you guys for showing all that love and support and um, we do this because we love this but we also do this to keep bringing all this amazing content to you guys so that that's that's for me count us down bro count us down on that on that note sure man and as always 
We hope all the bros, all the sisters, and all the newcomers, all the first time and last time watchers, we appreciate y'all. <laughs> appreciate you, appreciate you, definitely. <laughs> hope everybody have a good day. Good Air Max day, if y'all wait for them big bubbles. Great week, great month, great year, and hopefully everybody can continue to cop all the sneakers they want, because everybody deserves yeah. the sneakers they like, they even like. if you like the Jordan <laughs> Access. <laughs> <laughs> Peace out, guys. Peace. <laughs> when resale is too high.